I love to write about characters with supernatural powers, but I really wanted to do something different from my Immortals After Dark adult series. So traditional vampires and crazed Valkyries and Furies were out, and I've been uh, interested in the tarot for uh, as long as I can remember. And I started thinking, what would happen if the 22 major arcana cards, those are the trump cards of the tarot, uh, were real kids, like the Empress and Death, the Fool, the Magician. And then I started thinking, what kind of abilities and powers would they have and based on their cards? Uh, and the idea just sprang from there. I couldn't get it out of my head. When I learned that tarot cards weren't always used for divination, they were also used as playing cards. The idea sprang that these kids that were actual cards would be playing against each other, trying to trump each other, and uh, may the best hand live. I researched all the different types of interpretations for the cards, uh, historical decks, traditional decks, new age decks, and uh, used those to develop abilities and powers for each of the cards. Um, for instance, uh, death is depicted as a knight. Uh, so in Poison Princess, he's a, an armored horseman. He's a master at arms with a, with a deadly touch. And the moon is a huntress. And she, her skin glows red like a hunter's moon. And uh, on tarot cards, the magician is, uh, he has a wand. Uh, and in Poison Princess, he's an illusionist. Uh, Evie's character arc. In the beginning, she's a privileged 16-year-old in rural Louisiana, and she, there's not a whole lot in her life that's challenging, but as she begins to transform, she becomes stronger. When she and Jack are out on the road, he's teaching her how to become self-reliant, and she does become stronger towards the end of the book. So there's a definite difference between Evie in the beginning of the book and Evie towards the end of the book. In the sequel, Death plays a huge role. As we learn more about the game, we learn more about Death and Evie's unique relationship. Uh, he's a thrilling character to write. He's, uh, he's evil, but he's oddly noble. And he's deadly, but he's lonely. I cannot wait for readers to get to know him better. As he tells Evie, your death awaits.